I'm going to talk to you about signs that your ex wants you back. And just because you see these signs, it's not certain that your ex wants you back. It's just a clue or a likelihood that if you see these things, there's a good chance that they're at least doubting the breakup. Number one, this one's a little bit obvious, but stick with me. They watch your social media and you have to ask yourself, why would they watch your social media if they weren't interested at all? Why would they want to keep up with you? Well, the answer is they are interested if they do watch your social media and it's because they miss intimacy with you. Intimacy is seeing into you. It's being naked physically, emotionally, mentally. It's knowing about your day, how you felt about your day, what you hope for the future. And so if they start asking what's going on with you, how has work gone? How's your family? How's your pets? How are you feeling? Maybe if you've been sick or something, things like that, that's intimacy. And some of them are more important than others. Some of them represent deeper intimacy than others. But if they are missing the intimacy with you, then it's a good sign that they are doubting the breakup and they want you back. And it's also interesting if they're watching your stories on Instagram, for example, because they know most likely that you can see who watches your stories. And so if they're not afraid for you to watch them, and what I mean by afraid is, is that sometimes an ex will not want to get your hopes up. And so even if they're doubting it a little bit, they won't interact with you. They won't want to meet up and they won't do things that might get your hopes up because they don't want you to pursue them and they don't want to have to let you down and they don't want the drama and that kind of thing because they're not sure. And so if they're watching your stories, then you can know that at least to some degree, they're not afraid of getting your hopes up. Now, the reason that's good is because usually they are more certain when they're not afraid to get your hopes up. Because if they're not very certain, then that's when they don't want to get your hopes up because they're not really sure. And so they don't want to let you know before they are sure. But if they aren't afraid to get your hopes up, usually it means that there's a lot more depth to what they feel. And that's why they're not afraid of letting you know is because if you did get your hopes up, it could be for very good reason. So those are some things to keep in mind. Certainly not absolute. Nothing I say applies to every single situation, but it's at least a good sign if that's what you're looking for. Number two, if they ask their friends about you, and these are mutual friends, and this can be similar to number one in that if they are trying to get information on you, it often means that they are missing intimacy with you. But they also have to know that there's risk that it could get back to you. And so it's also similar to number one in that there is less concern that you might get your hopes up if you hear about it. But like with all these signs, it doesn't mean that you should reach out because sometimes people can do that too when you're in no contact because they take the ego hit. They want you to pursue them. We all want to be pursued. We all want to have interest shown in us. And sometimes that's a great thing, like in a loving relationship when you two are together. Both people should pursue each other. Both people should build each other up. But if your ex is doing this because they want that ego stroke, because they want you to chase and pursue and make them feel super attractive, then obviously you don't want to do that because it lowers your own attractiveness and it makes it easier for them to just move on, forget about you and not want the relationship back. So just because they ask your friends about you doesn't mean you should reach out. It certainly doesn't mean that. But it is a good sign that at least they're missing some of that intimacy, most likely. Now, if they're wanting that ego stroke, that's obviously something you need to be aware of. But it could also be a good sign that they're doubting the breakup and that they want you back. Before I get to number three, get more information on my emergency breakup kit. It's at myexbackcoach.com. It's a powerful guide to help you get your ex back. And I link to it in the description below. So get more information on my emergency breakup kit. And let's move on to number three. Number three possibly a crowd favorite, they reach out to you. And what's interesting is a lot of times they can't think of a good reason to tell you because they don't want to say, well, I missed you and I wanted to talk to you. Sometimes they do. And if they do, that's obviously a great sign too. But if they just reach out and it's something small, like, Hey, I was wondering if maybe you'd come help me change a light bulb, something like that, that doesn't require your help that they could do on their own, or they call and they ask a question that doesn't really matter. Like, do you know if it's going to rain tomorrow? And obviously I'm joking around a little bit, but you know what I'm talking about when they reach out and ask things that they don't have to ask you about, that they could ask another friend, a parent, a family member, something like that. But here they are reaching out to you. 
And so you just have to ask yourself, why? What is their motivation? Because everything that people do is based on motivation. But similar to the other points I've made, they have to know that this could get your hopes up if they do it. And so there is a lack of concern for that, which is usually a good sign because it means that there's usually something behind it, that it's real, that there's a reason they don't mind if you get your hopes up because maybe they want you to. Maybe they want you to know that they are doubting the breakup and they want you to know that they're missing you and want you back. But again, you must be careful because if you do too much of the work for them, it can throw that imbalance again where your attractiveness is less than theirs. And that's a position that neither person should be in and you don't want to be in, certainly if you want your ex back. You have to keep it at least even with them if at all possible. And of course, there's no calculator to measure this. You just want to do your best to be as attractive as possible and strength in the emotional sense that you can stay away, that you're not chasing them. That's attractive when you have been broken up with. And so you can respond from a direct message to you, but you cannot try to go back to begging or things like that. You need to let them move things forward. It's very important. And of course, there will be a point when you can start contributing to that. But we'll get into that in other videos, and I certainly get into it in my emergency breakup kit. Number four, this one is really confusing. A lot of people in coaching sessions with me or a coach on my staff, they will say, I don't understand. Why is she still jealous? Why is he still jealous if they don't want to be with me? It doesn't make any sense. It does if they are doubting the breakup and they want you back. I'm going to get into this after the next point, but sometimes your ex can want you back and not do anything about it. And we're going to talk about that. But if they show jealousy, it's a great sign because it's still there. Jealousy is a reaction. It's not even something that we can really explain. When we try to say, well, I feel jealous for this reason and that reason, usually the other person can say, well, you shouldn't. You should be confident or you should whatever. It doesn't mean that you just automatically feel that way. You can't change your feelings with a snap of a finger. And that's important to keep in mind with your ex as well, that this takes time. But if they are showing jealousy, that's a great sign. It means they feel like you are still theirs. Whereas they don't have the right to feel that if they broke up with you, if they know it, then that's a great thing. And it can really be a good sign that your ex wants you back. Before I get to number five, take a quick second and subscribe to this channel so you can be notified when I have more videos like this. And I'm going to be doing more videos on marriage, but I'm still going to be doing videos on getting your ex back and having great relationships. So hit that subscribe button. Number five is if they keep images of the two of you on social media, because a lot of times when they start dating someone else, they will remove those because they don't want this other person seeing that. They don't want to have to explain that. They don't want it to look like there's still something between you two. They don't want this person to feel like they don't need to get in a relationship with them because you're still in the picture. So if they're not doing that, especially if they're dating someone else and they're still not doing that, that means usually something's still there. Something lingers. They feel like they just don't want to take away those pictures. It feels like they would be taking away a part of their heart. And I know that sounds a little cheesy, but it's kind of the truth. And so if you see them keeping pictures of you there, that's usually a good sign. It at least means that they are confused and they don't want to take drastic actions. And that feels like a drastic action. You would think breaking up with you would be a drastic action. But in this case, that's after the breakup. They are keeping these pictures on after the breakup. And so they don't want to take further drastic action if they're having doubt. I hope you can follow the logic there. I'm sure you can because my viewers are smart. And now we get into the question, well, if they are showing these signs, they have doubts about the breakup, then why aren't they coming back? A lot of this can be because they think they made the right decision and they're trying to hold on until their feelings change. Some people can sit with the hurt and missing you and the desire to get back together and they can fight it. They can kind of use some of the techniques that I provide here, like staying in the moment, not getting ahead of themselves. They might even tell themselves, I'll contact him or I'll contact her tomorrow. So I'll just not do it today. And they do that for two months. And it can be obviously very frustrating. But a lot of times they are trying hard to stay away. They're hoping that their feelings will continue to adapt to this and that they will feel better and they can just move on without thinking about it. They think it's the right decision. Sometimes they have a support group around them who's telling them, oh yeah, you should just move on because people like to meddle in other people's lives because it's more interesting than just being a good person and leaving people to their own business. So you have that to consider is that sometimes they're doing these things and still staying away because they think it's the right decision and they're trying to just stick with it. And some people are really stubborn and they 
feel like that you should do all the work. But what usually happens is if you do, it fades out very quickly because of the attraction dynamics. So here in the end screen, I have two videos. One is if you are married and the other is if you are in a breakup that was a dating relationship. So select the one that's right for you and continue on your journey of learning how to reattract the one you love. This has been Coach Lee and as always, thank you for watching.